Hey everyone! In today's video, Emily will tell you a story about her New Year's trip to New York City. You'll learn some useful vocabulary and expressions that are commonly used in everyday conversations. This will also be a great opportunity for you to practice and improve your English listening and speaking skills. Listen carefully. Hello, my name is Emily. I was so happy when my best friend Sarah and I planned a trip to New York City for New Year's. We've wanted to go there for a long time. When we arrived at JFK Airport, the city was so busy and full of bright lights. We stayed in a nice hotel in Times Square. Our room had a great view. The city was getting ready for a big New Year's Eve party, and we were excited to join in. During the day, we visited famous places like the Statue of Liberty, Central Park, and the Empire State Building. Everywhere we went, we found something new and took lots of pictures. On New Year's Eve night, Times Square was so exciting. There were many people from all over the world. Sarah and I found a spot in the crowd to see the ball drop. At midnight, there were fireworks in the sky and everyone cheered. It was amazing to see confetti falling and everyone celebrating. Sarah hugged me and we made our New Year's wishes together. We felt happy about our friendship and this great experience. After the party, we walked back to our hotel, talking about the awesome night. We talked until we fell asleep, excited about more adventures in the city the next day. Our trip to New York City for New Year's was a dream come true. I'm so glad I got to welcome the New Year with my best friend in this incredible city. Before we begin our speaking practice, let's learn some new words and expressions from our story. Understanding these will help you improve your English skills. Bustling means a place full of lively activity. Example. The market was bustling with shoppers and vendors. Dazzling means very bright and impressive, like shining lights. Example, the stage lights were dazzling during the concert. Vibrant means full of energy and color. Example, the garden was vibrant with colorful flowers. Anticipation means feeling excited about something that is going to happen. Example, the children waited in anticipation for the arrival of the ice cream truck. Countdown means the act of counting backward from a specific number to zero. Example, we did a countdown from five to start the game. Magical means something extremely beautiful or extraordinary, like a fairy tale. Example, the snow falling on Christmas Day felt magical. Reminisce means remembering or talking about past enjoyable memories. Example, Grandpa likes to reminisce about his childhood adventures. Snuggle means getting close and cozy, often while hugging. Example, the kittens snuggled together for warmth. Cherish means feeling something is very valuable or important and wanting to keep it. Example, I cherish the handmade card my friend gave me. Unforgettable means something so memorable that it won't be forgotten. Example, our family trip to the beach was unforgettable. Now it's time to speaking practice. Repeat after Emily. Hello, my name is Emily. Hello, my name is Emily. I was so happy when my best friend Sarah and I I was so happy when my best friend Sarah and I planned a trip to New York City for New Year's. 
planned a trip to New York City for New Year's. We've wanted to go there for a long time. We've wanted to go there for a long time. When we arrived at JFK Airport, when we arrived at JFK Airport, the city was so busy and the city was so busy and full of bright lights, full of bright lights. We stayed in a nice hotel. We stayed in a nice hotel in Times Square, in Times Square. Our room had a great view. Our room had a great view. The city was getting ready for a big New Year's Eve party. The city was getting ready for a big New Year's Eve party. And we were excited to join in. And we were excited to join in. During the day, during the day, we visited famous places. We visited famous places like the Statue of Liberty, like the Statue of Liberty. Central Park, and the Empire State Building. Central Park, and the Empire State Building. Everywhere we went, we found something new. Everywhere we went, we found something new and took lots of pictures and took lots of pictures. On New Year's Eve night, on New Year's Eve night, Times Square was so exciting. Times Square was so exciting. There were many people from all over the world There were many people from all over the world. Sarah and I found a spot in the crowd. Sarah and I found a spot in the crowd to see the ball drop. To see the ball drop. At midnight, there were fireworks in the sky. At midnight, there were fireworks in the sky. And everyone cheered. And everyone cheered. It was amazing to see confetti falling. It was amazing to see confetti falling and everyone celebrating. And everyone celebrating. Sarah hugged me. Sarah hugged me. And we made our New Year's wishes together. And we made our New Year's wishes together. We felt happy about our friendship. We felt happy about our friendship. And this great experience. 
and this great experience. After the party, we walked back to our hotel. After the party, we walked back to our hotel. Talking about the awesome night. Talking about the awesome night. We talked until we fell asleep. We talked until we fell asleep. Excited about more adventures in the city the next day. Excited about more adventures in the city the next day. Our trip to New York City for New Year's was a dream come true. Our trip to New York City for New Year's was a dream come true. I'm so glad. I I'm so glad. I, I got to welcome the new year with. I got to welcome the new year with. My best friend in this incredible city. My best friend in this incredible city. All right, let's listen to the story one more time. Hello, my name is Emily. I was so happy when my best friend Sarah and I planned a trip to New York City for New Year's. We've wanted to go there for a long time. When we arrived at JFK Airport, the city was so busy and full of bright lights. We stayed in a nice hotel in Times Square. Our room had a great view. The city was getting ready for a big New Year's Eve party, and we were excited to join in. During the day, we visited famous places like the Statue of Liberty, Central Park, and the Empire State Building. Everywhere we went, we found something new and took lots of pictures. On New Year's Eve night, Times Square was so exciting. There were many people from all over the world. Sarah and I found a spot in the crowd to see the ball drop. At midnight, there were fireworks in the sky and everyone cheered. It was amazing to see confetti falling and everyone celebrating. Sarah hugged me and we made our New Year's wishes together. We felt happy about our friendship and this great experience. After the party, we walked back to our hotel talking about the awesome night. We talked until we fell asleep, excited about more adventures in the city the next day. Our trip to New York City for New Year's was a dream come true. I'm so glad I got to welcome the new year with my best friend in this incredible city. Good job today. Keep it up. Every lesson helps you get better at English. We're excited to see you in my next videos. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more lessons. Keep learning and see you soon.